So it finally happened, actually. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now my dad's calling. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. Sorry about that, lads and lasses. But anyways. Um. <laughs> uh, after, like, nearly an hour later and, like, my sanity dwindled, we are back with another episode of Let's Play Tears of the Kingdom. Um, yes. <laughs> we have finally broken... The Sea Breeze Shield. And now, we just have this Hylian Shield <laughs> with durability up, which is honestly probably going to be more than enough to actually last through the rest of the game, to be honest. But anyways, what I was doing, if any of you bastards were keen to know, <laughs> Ah, that didn't work. Sometimes I'm not that great at performing this glitch, but sometimes I am. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the, um... The other, uh... The... The, the champion's tunic real quick. Or the champion's leathers. Where is it? Did I miss it? Where is it? Oh, I need, like... I need like three more sunny lions. Oh fuck, I thought I need ten. Oops. Um, while I do this, um, I guess we're gonna go ahead and do a recap. So in the previous episode, we basically just went ahead and... Uh, I can't really think when I'm doing this. We basically just unlocked like two more, um, places and also we did a bunch of, um... Little itty bitty, uh, memory unlocking for, uh, with Zelda. Um, and we basically found out that Zelda is... Well, it's not 100% confirmed, but, like, it's pretty much confirmed. Zelda is the Light Dragon. I basically even, like, started the episode off by saying, like, what if Zelda's the Light Dragon? Mostly because of that, like, one scene. Scene where, um, she's, like, holding the Master Sword, like, when we, af like, after we pull it, and, like, Robert was saying something about, like, like, there's a way to become a dragon, but you lose yourself in the process. Um, which is a little bit on the scary side, because, oop, and we're gonna get kissed. There we go. Um, so how can I further enhance this? I need the horn. Okay. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and say hello to Zelda once more. Um, I might as well actually equip this. Probably actually have this. You know what I should do for a laugh? Change my hat to a blue, a nice blue color. Um, yeah, but going through here, um, yeah, she she knows what she has to do, and she was also she got the master sword from us. Um, then we uh, then she's then she started having that little flashback thing where um, Robert told her that that like people can become a dragon, but like they would lose themselves in the process. So, if that's the case, then Zelda is one of these dragons. Except, like, the light dragon is literally right there. Yeah, um, that's a little bit discerning. Um, literally, Zelda's all the way up there. So, that leads into the next question. If that is Zelda, then who is the Zelda we've been seeing? And I believe... Well, first I was thinking that what we were seeing as Zelda was... Was puppet Zelda. Like, Zelda was being possessed because she was doing some sus shit. And being, like, completely weird and all that jazz. But I think it might be, like... Yeah, I definitely think it's something like... Um... Phantom. Or, I, I believe it's something like that. I believe that it is... Uh, yeah, and also I got this shrine for some reason. I believe that what we saw, what Zelda is... Is like puppet Zelda. We're not. That's not her. Cause if the real Zelda is turned to a dragon, then like, then what the fuck are we gonna do? Like, like who has been Zelda all this time? Was it just like Ganondorf, or is it just like a puppet? Is it like something that he created? Like, it. And also, is Ganondorf really under the castle, or is he in the castle? I feel like I want to explore 
Hyrule Castle eventually, but... I don't know if, like... If I do that, I'll, like, encounter him. Okay, so there's also another, um... There's also another memory right there. That I have yet to pick. Okay, so there's one there. Okay, we got one there. So it seems like every region's gonna have one. Okay, we literally got that one. It's probably one over by, like... In the Elden Province, and there's probably one by the sea. So here's what I want to do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to this one. I don't really know if this will actually advance anything. Um, but if anything, um, this looks to be some sort of temple. And one thing I'm noticing with a lot of these memories is that a lot of them are related to, like, with the memory that we're seeing. Like, this one is Gandor's fealty. This is, yeah, this is Sonya. This is literally supposed to be Sonya. That is supposed to be Rauru. That's the first one. Um, this one is... Yeah, when Gandorf turned to the Demon King. This is our Master Sword, obviously. Um, Nero's Council, um, basically talking about um, the Purapad. Um, and this one is um, when all those fuckers came and attacked um, the Great Plateau, but Rauru, with uh, the help of Zelda and Sonya, just went ahead and obliterated them. This one is, I guess, like when Gandorf was, was um, I don't know, a king's duty. I guess that's where um, he like knew what was going to happen, but he's still going to do it eventually because why the hell not? actually kind of scary that we're actually very close to the uh to the ship yikes okay so i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna go ahead and like have the uh the the champion's tunic the champion's leathers be like the main armor piece oh man. i kind of take that back actually all right Okay, I'm gonna assume this is. Yep. This is like the second As memory. I thought, this is not the world I know. The Great Plateau. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. Yeah, very. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. Oh yeah, she did pick that up, so I guess that's how she was able to come oh, here, come to this place. I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Rauru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. So you have her Additionally, one. I sense that we share you have a blood her connection. Stone. Well, yeah, I, ancestors. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. Well, yeah, we got Gandorf to kill. In my time, something terrible is happening. The fuck? I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> the fuck? Are you looking at her ass? I have to look this back at anything. I don't know what's no happening. Idea. I was just looking at the subtitles. You don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle? Hmm? No, I. We'll tell everyone that you're a distant relative of ours. 
It is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes, too. Uh, uh, I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. Oh. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Okay, so... Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, there we go. I was thinking, secret stone. That's your sister. We'll call on her. Seems we're nearly caught with the present. Well, <gasps> just nearly caught up to uh, how Zella really got there and how what she's going through. It's number four, and, well, we're missing number nine, and then we're gonna figure out what happens afterwards. My question is, where's the last ones? Being honest, I don't really know. But there's one thing I really want to do in this, in this episode. Let's head to the Forgotten Temple. That's where I want to go to. Oh, cool, the eyes are glowing. She's pretty damn dope. Is that another one over there? Uh, yeah, that is uh one that I went to actually. Okay, I'm gonna go head to the Forgotten Temple. Wait, hello. Do you sell energetic beetles? The Bantha Village Ruins. Was there a village here? <laughs> uh, probably like in an age-long past, yes, but. A chew. Oh, pardon. The cold snap might be over, but it's still chilly down here. Uh, stock of a stable revillage in your eye. Okay, cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, equip these uh, snow pants, and I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in a bit. Do I have enough? Okay. Go ahead and eat those up, and then I'll question your sanity. Okay, pants are next. Okay, I need two more. Alright, here we are again. Oh, Link, I'm so pleased to see you see you come here as well. Be honest, Liam, but deduce that there's something related to the geoglyphs here. It took some effort for us to get up here, but we managed it. Mm -hmm. Then the Impa grew impatient the moment I took my eyes off her. She went deep into the temple all by herself. Once I finish more of the balloon, I plan to hurry after. Crap. Yep, of course. Oh, yep. There's, uh, it's completely infested with monsters of the variety. You know what I was thinking? What if, like, by some sick, twisted joke, those, like, hands down here, the gloom hands, are in this place? Ah, uh, throwback to when this place was, like, completely scary because of what is called, uh, the Guardians. Yeah, unfortunately, it literally seems like no trace of anything ancient related is left in this game. Except for, like, a couple things. Like, there's no tell of the Guardians. And, you know, I'm okay with that. I would like to at least seem like, a little bit of stuff. I guess that's uh, how it has to be, I suppose. Okay, well. There's a shrine here anyway, and there's Impa. I wonder if this one's gonna be um, a blessing or not. We're gonna have to figure this one out. Okay, nope. This one might be pretty easy, cause well, Oh, yeah, that's definitely gonna be easy. What I need to do, actually, is relatively simple. And the three year old could get this. Even my autistic son could get it. Uh, that's probably like the worst thing I honestly could have said. To like dictate that this is so goddamn easy. 
just for the clear, I am not roasting autism. Do not take me out alive, then, you biatch. Okay, well, it's just over here. Um, the question is, where's the dang chest? Oh, found it. <laughs> I make a set of stairs, actually. Can these things be climbed? Oh, I guess I'm dumb. Not really. No, I take my dumbness back. Alright, let's go ahead and finish this one up. And then uh, we can call it a day with this shrine. Do you know that this should belong on the corner, though? says to me. Also, I think for this shield, I'm not even gonna, like, put any attachments on. Being completely honest, I like the I like the Hylian shield as is. It's, it's, it's literally that perfect. It doesn't even need, like, any other boosts. Like, look at it. It's such a beautiful shield. Alright, give me the thing. Okay, now that's over with. Oh, Link, thank you again for your help with the balloon. I believe there's something related to the geoglyphs somewhere within this temple. I'm searching, but so far it's been in vain. The chambers here are enormous, so it'll be a difficult task at best. Where could it be? Okay. Looks like I gotta go ahead and search somewhere here. Well, that's unfortunate. I blame the upheaval. God damn it, Ganon. What is this? Rusty Halberd. Oh, there's actually something behind it. Eh, throwback to when we got the, uh, of the wild set. <laughs> look at me now, game. I got it without being all the shrub. Oh, shit. There's more to this than meets the eye. Impa, how'd you miss this? Aren't you like the most skilled fucking, um, Sheikah in the world? I guess, uh, age has, uh, slowed you down. Oh, that's actually sick. So this showcases all of them. Okay, if we look at the map... It seems like we got that one. Got most of them. Um, it seems we're missing... Uh, we're missing one... Uh, we're missing two, I believe? Maybe? So one in the central? Yeah, it seems like we're just missing two. One down there and one by the Heber Mountains. There has to be more memories, though, because we there's not just two more tiers left unless, like... Huh. Ah, this place. <laughs> Lady Impa, let's head down. We must investigate up close. How are you going to get back up? Oh, there's actually a way in. Oh. There, upon the walls. Are there's not geoglyphs? Hmm, what could this mean? I believe the 
one we saw first was a geoglyph on the left edge of the wall. As for the next painting, according to the floor map, it's near Rito Village. Oh. It seems the locations of the other geoglyphs from the wall are marked on the floor map as well. Looks like they're all in order. Well, the ones on the walls, uh... I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. Who could have guessed this old ruin still had held such secrets? Said the geoglyphs appeared all over during over Hyrule during the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. Hmm. How are they connected to these images here? Oh. There's no turn to dawdle. Let's hurry and investigate the remaining geoglyphs. Mm. Uh, okay, Lady Impa. Perhaps you should rest a bit before try uh, before such a trying journey. Oh. Link, if you happen to see a geoglyph during your travels, I urge you to investigate this matter as well. If more vision, strange visions are waiting at the other geoglyphs, just like the one you experienced already, well, perhaps they'll provide clues that could lead us to Zelda. Well, yeah. You have two geoglyphs left to, left to check out. Okay, so. As far as I know, there seems to be a geoglyph around here and a geoglyph down here. Huh, cool. Marks a sword. All right. I believe the perfect way to investigate these is going through the... Oh yeah, now this is how a railman flies in the sky. I regret everything. Anyway, down there it is, down there. All right. See what happens here. Oh, that's all the uh that's all the fucking King sages. Lomu. We just received word that the last free village in the Gerudu Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. You're not Dimitri, though. Rauru. The Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. Mm. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rito <laughs> leaders, as well as Zelda. And of course... You can count on me. Hmm. Yours is interesting. There's something I'd like to show you all. <laughs> ah, I love that sound. Damn. Sacred stones. Ah. Stand with me. I need all your aid. So they're gonna collect the they're gonna take the remaining Yep, they are. So this is so the place we literally just came to held this shit.
gathered here swear on our lives to serve Bravo, the King of Light. Interesting. <gasps> the Sage's Vow. Back to a corner by the tax in all parts of Hyrule. Leaders facing the Demon King's forces gather robbers call. He, give, he gives each a Zonai secret stone, marking them sages with powers amplified by the stones. All the sages raise their voices as one, pledging to fight with King Rawr to the end. Wow. So there's six sages. Zelda and Rawr are one. Um, Rawr's light, Zelda's time. And then we got like the and then we got like the four other sages, and then we have um Minoru. She has a stone herself, but she isn't a sage. Why are you walking around so flamboyant like that? But anyway, the last remaining one is all the way down here. And of course. It seems like this might be the best option to go, so I'm going to go ahead and start flying again. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, that's neat. Paraglider fabric. Oh, hey, you! You! I need you, actually. Thank you. I can now upgrade one of my uh, piece of armor. Oh, the wild set now. Nice to see you're back in action. And they're at it again. I'm gonna go ahead and register so I get a free point. Probably said some cool animal. There's like a new species of animals like right, right across. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'll be fine. All right. I'll get back on the journey. I need to weed my friend. I need to do some. I need to commit some war crimes on you. Not falling for it, dickhead. Oh, there's actually multiple bananas on that on those statues. I'm still not falling for it. Okay, I need to head in this direction. If the album is true, it's kind of funny. The sword is right here. Oh, what the hell? Hey, 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 hey! Pirates invade Lurland Village just ahead. Those not confident of their pirate fighting ability should not approach. Ah, I'm a fucking badass. Oh, there's also like one of those caves. It's like, you know, this is like the probably the third time I've seen one of these caves. It has like a lair or something in it. You know what? I'm going in. I'm going in. All right. I'm going in this cave because I want to. Might be a bad idea, but you know, bad ideas are fun. Hello? Good enough? Okay, that means... Oh, this ain't shallow enough. Can we go ahead and like grab this chest? Literally didn't even kick it at all. Bomb flower, thank you. Try and scare the fuck out of these guys. Surprise, dickheads. Oh, someone's throwing shit. 
Now what are you? Oh, you're the black. Whoa! Ow. Nice hit. Nice whack. Okay, looks like this is just a, a monster nest. Is that really it? Oh, fat loot. Bomb barrel spear. Well, that doesn't sound like a fun idea. Alright, survey says. Knight broadsword halberd. That's a very interesting weapon. I will say thanks for it, but uh... Not necessarily my cup of tea. Okay, uh, hold on. Sonar devices by type, by fuse attack, by most used. I'd say there's more. And I guess that's it for this cave. Yep, we got the check mark. I'm out of here. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some pirate fighting. Okay, well, there's a shrine up here. I might be a good idea to go ahead and attempt to take this thing on. I want to see these pirates. Are they actually, like, people, or are they just, like... Blends or something. Jesus. Yeah, they literally just look like regular old enemies. Alright, let's see what's inside. Oh, wow. Going for 45 ounce. Jesus Christ. Seriously? Ugh. Flow. Flow these nuts. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? That wasn't so bad. Now it's time for the ultimate uh, question. Where's the fucking chest? Unless the chest is... at the end again. Of course it is. Really missed opportunity to actually put a chest around in the back. Captain 3 Reaper. Okay, you could probably get rid of something. Uh, I'll get rid of the Knight Broadsword, actually. Actually, uh... Yeah, I'll get rid of this one, and... Since I got this done, I'm actually gonna go head to... Um, Hetsu at uh, the Lost Woods. But first, I need to take a piss. Okay, I am back for my piss, and I guess uh, Riju and uh, Tulin have decided to make themselves at home. Okay, so, and there's another one nearby? Okay, cool. Well, this is absolutely saddening. Like, really saddening. Um, before I actually go ahead and do anything with, um... That I'm heading here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this last one off, and then I guess we'll go ahead and figure out uh where the hell the rest of them are. Maybe some new ones will pop up. Like I guess like I don't know. There was only like so many. Maybe we'll find more as like we progress. 
I don't know. There's like a lot of questions because we don't have enough glyphs to get all the memories. So it's either we're going to find more, we're going to get memories a different way, or there's something else. And also, this is very fucking long, as you fucking can see. So, locating this is gonna be... Kinda a pain. So here we go. But honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest, I expect it to be at the very end. Why? Cause why not? Oh wow. You're really gonna do this to me, huh? Yep, I found you. There we are. It was all the way here instead of being at the end. Alright. This is the final one as far as I'm concerned. Zelda, we are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. Why I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Fucking troglodyte. Oh my. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. Of course. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? <laughs> so who are you? <laughs> oh no, you're Ganondorf. Of course. Oh, nope, it's gone. But that confirms it. If Zelda's the Light Dragon... Oh, yep, there we go. I guess we can't revert time on that one, huh? You bastard. Oh, Jesus, that's a face I never want to see. <laughs> you absolute utter troglodyte. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to st stick my sword into your fucking throat. Your heart. Everywhere. Well, that's the last one. And now we see how Sonya really gets killed. It's like fucking punch in the back of the head by fucking... Hello? The fuck is that? Of course. Hey, come back. I still need you for parts. Oh boy, here we go again, lads. Melon Bay. Dragon's tier, I guess that's why. Why Dragon Pier and been shedded the new tier. So this scan is treachery. Uh hold on. Memory time. Okay, so we got Sonya meets with Zelda in private, and when the princess reveal be a creature under Gandorf's command, Sonya and the real Zella address the threat with confidence. The False Zilla laughs eerily and vanishes in the mist of gloom. 
In that moment, Gandor steps up behind Sonya and catches the queen by surprise. She falls victim to scheme. That's 10. We don't know what happens to the 11th. We're still very far behind with what's going to happen next. But... We now know where we need to go to next. Um... Oh boy. I don't know if I sh I'm gonna fly. Fuck it. So I just realized something. Are those geoglyphs? Is it literally just Zelda just just like t crying all over the place and like it just drops and it forms it and just forms memories and shit? That'd be fucking. That, we solved it. We solved it, guys. We solved the uh, issue of the. Uh... No, swing winch. Hey, Zelda. Um, I need like something of you. Um. Now, what of this don't I have? Uh, I got. Do I not have your fang? Oh, no, it's actually... Okay, got... I Oh, I need a scale. No, I already got a scale. Uh, Light Dragon Talon. I got the fang. I got the nature spike. Okay, so it's... Spike, scale. That's a talon. A fang. I got four of them. Uh, scale, fang. Claw. Horn. Yo, Zelda, I need your horn real quick. Taking horny to another level. I'm coming, Zelda! Ah. There we go. Now I'm heading this way. Thanks for the boost, girl. Hold on. Let me go ahead and collect this real quick. Alright. Uh, where is it? Here we are. I guess this might be how they, uh... They sealed them for the second, for a second, I guess. Hey, there's a Temple of Time. That's on the Great Plateau, yes? Hmm, no, we haven't gotten that far yet. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel There we evil. go. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon. So that's how you do it. blessed with eternal life. All right. Well, she already lived a, th a hundred years. What's like, like a f like several eras? Minoru, I'm counting on you. Wait, is she in my fucking thing? She did say she can take her soul out of her body. So what, are you gonna eat it and stab in your forehead? Oh, my 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 beauty, my poor beauty. Link, I will restore the master sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the demon king. I feel like that's gonna like hurt going down. 
To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Oh, God. Yep, there we go. Alright, now stabbing yourself. Thanks. Thanks for doing that for me, Zelda. I mean, you know, the the sword still dies on me. And I gotta wait 10 minutes. And it's not as powerful as the one in Breath of the Wild. But, you know, I'm glad that it's fixed. Thank you, Zelda. So that's how I got into the dragon. She made this ultimate sacrifice. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to need any of these uh, silent princesses anymore. I'm like, well, fuck. Thank you, Zelda. Jesus fucking Christ! How many have I collected? I don't even know how many I had before this. Unknown. After leaving the Puripad in Manure's care. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> that's scary. Uh, Zealous swallows a secret stone, holding a hope for Link's future in her heart. As bright light washes over her, Zelda transforms to the light dragon, roaring as she ascends to the sky. Tears fall from her eyes and rain from the heavens as the light dragon vanishes into expansive clouds. Wow. Thanks, Zelda! Thank you! I, I appreciate it! So how many are we missing now? One, two, three. We're missing three memories. Wow. So that so literally the Master Sword was just literally inside Zelda's head. For God knows how long. Two two. two a millennia. Tears of the Dragon. This should have been called Tears. This game should have been called Tears of the Dragon. Well, holy fuck. <laughs> and of course, I predicted the plot twist like 
whenever I figured, whenever I like look back and just was thinking like, what if Zell's a fucking dragon? And you know what? It makes so much sense that it's now canonized. Holy shit, though. Man, that's gotta be one hell of a fate for it, though. That's one fucked up sacrifice, bro. Well, I guess that's... Well, I, well, I guess I gotta figure out how to make her snap back to reality, but it's gonna be hard once you uh, lose yourself at the beginning. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll, ju I'll just take the L from here, lads. <laughs> what the fuck was I even thinking, bro? So what the fuck do you want me to do now? Ignite the... Ignite? Ign... Well, you want me to ignite the fucking fire? And the flames? Fire and the flames, eat my ass. No! Damn it, bitch. Yes, sir. I make all- I always make things work. I don't need any more shields for the rest of fucking Let's Play. You know, I'm just leaving it there. This has shield. This this is just a shield. I don't need a shield anymore in this Let's Play. The ones I got? This is more than enough to last, like, three fucking Let's Plays. I think I deserve some smart points for that. Ah, oh, cool. Now I can get another heart container. Or, you know, I could just start maxing out the rest of my stamina. You know, it... never thought I could do that, huh, Mason? Do you ever think of that, Mason? Do you think you could just... <laughs> Alright, let's get some more heart containers. So this one's gonna be number 13. I think. It's a little bit more gloom left out of my body. Alright, each and every day I'm getting stronger. I must honor the princess's wish somehow. Well, I guess I found her already. Don't need to do that quest anymore. We already found her. She's... Literally, I, I found her. See, I, just, I found her. Hey, Zelda, how you doing? Well, there's like a little bit of humanity left in your asshole. Actually, you don't even have an asshole. How do you even, like... Alrighty. I guess I gotta go try to find Impa? Oh, shit. I think I'm actually running out of bathrooms. Oh, fuck. Impa! Ah, uh, Link. Are you making progress in your investigation of geoglyphs? Yeah, I found the haunting truth. I see. So this dragon's tears were shed by Princess Zelda when she transformed, and the geoglyphs were drawn by an ancient people who touched the memories and saw visions as you did? Perhaps in the past they were more attuned to that sort of thing than the people of today. Hmm. Oh. I understand now. So that is the truth of it all. Link, if all the memories you saw are true, then that means... Since our Princess Zelda has become the Light Dragon, she can never again return to her original form. Oh. It is painfully tragic. Our dear Princess Zelda. No, it cannot be. There must be a way. Some method to restore Princess Zelda to her former self. Link, I will return to Kakariko Village and review the ancient literature once more. That's the most I can do to help Princess Zelda. Alright, I'm gonna head to Kakariko. So then that means I can basically say, oh yeah, that's not Zelda, so I'm gonna go ahead and fuck around with those ruins. Have you seen Impa? Ooh. Oh, is that really you? <clears throat> Link? Why, well, it's been some time. You gave me such a uh, quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you out here in village. Uh, well, our chief is... Uh, yeah, really, uh, uh, Impa retired. Lady Papaya is a chief. Uh, some of the ring ruins. <sighs> okay, well, I guess uh, Impa's not going to be here yet. Um, hey, Paya. Hi. Master Link, is there anything you need from me? I haven't discerned anything about Prince Zelda's whereabouts, so I'm not sure I can be of any help to you. However, my plan is to investigate the ring ruins as thoroughly as possible. Dora, my aid, does not seem to have about it, but I believe this falls under my duty as chief, and so it must be done. Oh. 
So I forget the moment. Please stay as long as you... I'm not going to be able to tower that... Alright. Alright, dickhead. I know the truth. Let me out. Let me in. You again, under zealous orders, everyone's forbidden. If that applies to an archaeologist like me, fuck. Must be a reason why Ganon doesn't want us near here. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna be able to figure that out till a bit later. Um, there should be a side. Ah, here we are. Um, what? I talked to you? Ah, yeah. oh, Link, good of you to come. Too curious to stay away. Where are you again? <laughs> hey, what a droll sense of humor. It's me, Wor Wartsworth, the ancient high ruling scholar you met at Lookout Landing. Aren't you curious about my findings here, Link? Not necessarily. Oh. There's a picture of the uh, stone tablet that fell from the sky at Lookout Landing. I managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes on the ancient high ruling I had in the storage at the research lab. Mm. Here's what it says. One held one. Yo. King Ra Raru and Queen Sonia thereafter to his sis. Shit. I'm going to assume he like. Hmm. Yo, I'm having a stroke reading this shit. Not much going, but you can clearly read the names of King Raru and Queen Sonya, the founders of Hyrule. The name Zella is certainly legible somewhere in the text. The author finishes by saying that she will write about the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Oh. Certainly seems to be a royal diary left behind by a chamberlain or someone of equivalent station. The part that catch my attention is the third name mentioned, Zelda. There's no record of anyone by that name in any of the other texts been there so far. This is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all the way back to the Hyrule's founding. It's written here must be the star of, the, of a first-hand account of Hyrule. Mm. Y'all notice number 13 there? 13 reasons why? There are 12 more stone tablets we found. If all royal chamberlain really left these. Oh. And she's perspective on a day-to-day -day life of the era. One which the history books don't mention. There's so much we can learn here of King Raru, Queen Sonia, or even this curious woman named Zelda. Mm. 12 stone tablets left. Fascinating. If you haven't oh. found more of these tablets and get visual evidence of them, show it to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. Great. This is gonna be a bitch in a fifth, ain't it? Jesus Christ, you the fucker. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Enchanted. Ain't this shit like hella. Yeah, this shit's like hella expensive. Like. That's easy, like 30 grand I'm spending. Uh oh, uh, welcome. Sorry, I must have drifted off. I'm just so tired lately. I know it's not going to help. I'm going to do it anyway. My grandma is really sick. When my shop with my sister, Lazel, is looking after. We're starting to get by. We're both so exhausted. Sorry about this. We need money for how to hike up prices on everything we had in stock. As soon as grandmother's healthy again, I can set our prices back to normal. I know she bring my home situation to shop with me. Can I help anyhow? Oh, wait. Uh. Okay. I remember this now. Um, we need to make some sort of porridge. Um, what's a fucking quest? Um. That's a shrine quest. Uh, fish for fletching. Master Fugal prototype. Pirates, trip through history. What? I have four more to tell them about. Augur's quarrel, gloom bore illness. Porridge that counteracts gloom sickness. Okay, um, I believe I have, uh, what I need. Um, I'm gonna need a pot. Okay, um, I've never seen the recipe. There's actually, like, so much more cooking recipes in this game. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna spoil one recipe that I want. Pizza. We can make fucking pizza in this game. Only issue is I don't know where to find cheese. Yes, cheese. Okay. So if I can remember correctly, um, we make it with rice, milk, I think wheat, maybe? 
And now I'm gonna need, um... Sun Alliance? Oh, fuck yeah! I don't know about the fucking fried wild greens or whatever the hell it is. But, I... There we go. Yeah, that's cool. I don't give a fuck about it. I want to get these prizes to normal, and then I'm gonna go ahead and splurge. I mean, I can anyway. I, I literally have indisposable funds, but... Getting worse and worse. Pours a help over gloom sickness. What is that gentle aroma? Is that porridge I smell? Could it be? Did you make a porridge that could help with gloom sickness? Yes, sir. What did you think this was again? A sunny veggie porridge. Never ate anything sunny before. Maybe that's how my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Well, Grandma, how, there, how is it? Ah. Thank you, Lazel. That was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. Whoa. Grandmother, your complexion. The colors come back to your cheeks. Ah. Hey, look, are you seeing this? A few bites of your sunny veggie porridge, and it's like she was never even sick. So you're the one who made that porridge for me. All you gotta do is just go in the sunlight and just like drink some vodka. It's like easy. I do it all the time. It's such a gentle flavor. It didn't just nourish my body, but my spirit too. Thanks to you, my granddaughter seems I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so grateful to the both of you. Ah! Grandmother, what are you doing up? Oh, don't worry, she's fine. Ah! Oh, Claire. Uh, I'm so sorry I worried you, but this yeah, nice young man made me a wonderful sunny veggie porridge, so I'm feeling much better now. Hold on, you're doing this much better after one bowl of porridge? Guess I knew that was Lazel's plan, but I'm still amazed it actually worked. Ah. Now that I'm feeling better, you should hurry and prepare for your journey, Lazel. Uh -huh. You knew? <laughs> Can't get anything by her, Lazel. Besides, everyone knows your staying fashion and hate no village is your dream. Grandmother and I can take care of Enchanted by ourselves. Trust me, you deserve this. Huh? Claire, are you sure you don't want to go study with her? Oh, wrong, wrong voice. Well, I'll be lying if I said I didn't, but there's something else I want more. I'll make Enchanted a success right here in my beloved Kakariko Village and next to my beloved grandmother. And ah. I dream of someday filling our store wall to wall with outfits you designed, Lazel. So don't worry about me. Go study hard in Hano Village and come back to us a fashion icon. <laughs> you mean it? Thank you, Claire. And thank you, grandmother. <sighs> now that grandmother's all better, it's time to head back to the shop. Gotta make sure our prices are back to normal and everything's ready for our customers. Just can buy Enchanted yourself. I'll give you a discount. 90% off of anything. Thank you so much for your help. May Law Poor is trying to find a cure for my grandmother. We won't be able to eat it all ourselves. Here, take it east. Oh, fuck yeah. I need some of this shit. Yeah. I'm going to work hard for my big sister. Just watch. I'll be a fashion designer who changes the world. What type of porridge is this? Energizing veggie. Okay. Um. So you literally put in... um. Rice, milk, and whatever. I guess the wheat was just extra bonuses. Sick. I guess now we can go ahead and uh, buy whatever the fuck it is. I like at uh, this shop here and just have a way better price than like five grand. Even though like I can afford it. That's just way too expensive. Yep. 90%. Oh, that's dope. Go ahead and buy all of it. Just for completion's sake. I hope I'll at least be able to have all the armor in this game. 800 rupees. You gonna give me a pattern too? Nope. Thank you. Alright. We got so much clothing now in this game, it's ridiculous. Throw it back to when I just had these, and then these, and then these. <laughs> I look like a sumo wrestler. Oh, that's hilarious. And we finally got the Sheikah ship back again. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna be Smash, uh... Hey, look at me. I'm sh I'm Smash Sheik. Literally, because Sheik actually wears this outfit in Smash. Okay, I want to check some because I did a couple side quests already. I want to check out Lookout Landing because I am 95% certain for a fact that, like, like that place is, like, kind of, like, the main hub of this game. The more shit you do, the cooler stuff is there. Like, 
like uh we could buy like some different armors there was like some new things available the general store um all in all pretty cool i also need to actually get my shit together and by that i mean i need to find hetsu okay it's also one of these so what do i just take a picture of it Oh no, I'm gonna take a picture for a laugh. And I'm running out of storage space again. God damn. Oh shit, yes. Okay, we can buy milk now and we can start buying some of this shit. Yeah, it looks like there's like a bit of everything, really. I'll go ahead and buy some more rice because I'm. I plan on making some uh, rice dishes. Uh, Alright. Okay, I'm actually gonna go head back to Gerudo Town real quick. Oh, it's actually cool. It actually isn't that far from uh that one place too. Alright, I'm gonna go head back here because I wanna see what quests I need to what shit I need in order to make um Urbosis weapons. I am flexing on the on the fact that I am the first and only male that is literally illegally allowed to walk around town. Is there even like a clothing store? I'm going to the canteen. I'm getting myself a fucking drink. Oh, you sell uh grenades. Hello. Hey. Bye. You know, a hero does deserve a nice beverage. Do you sell drinks? I heard all about what you did, though. They're saying you fought to save the town. You and your thin frame have more than exceed my expectations. Well done. Because you're able to return to my can canteen. Circle. Aww. Let me offer you something for all your help. The first drinks on the house. From Veva to Vava, everyone can enjoy the special version of my signature drink. Noble Pursuit. A drink, please. <laughs> I like your energy. Just give me one second here. Mmm. Here we go. Sorry for the wait. Took some serious work, but I'm proud of the special version of No Pursuit that I came up with. I was inspired when I heard that a new vibe was going to be come to town. <laughs> Drink is full of all the vitamins and minerals you need to take on a harsh desert day. It really boosts your energy. If you like it, by all means, come back and get some more. Oh, but only the first one's free. We have to make another one for you in the future, but it'll cost 20 bucks. Of course it will. Of course it will. Okay. Um, also, since we're here, and I'm literally delaying the end of the episode, where is Madison? It's been a while since we've actually seen Madison. And if she is in Gerudo Town, I mean, she's around here somewhere. I'll still say this is fucking weird. Hey, where's your... Where's your homie? Oh? Link, I'm glad to see you. I haven't been to Lookout Landing yet. I sent Bolero there. If I understand hi from you, okay? Mm -hmm. I haven't got any new information about Zelda, but she see it seems she hasn't been around here recently. I don't know if you'll find this information helpful, but mm -hmm. after became a sage and returned to town, I discovered an interesting ancient reference. Seek out the swordsman upon the sand and look to where she points. There is treasure waiting on the ground. That was written in an old document I discovered. Mm -hmm. I doubt it holds any connection to Zelda, but it might be a clue to something. The swordsman upon the sand, treasure underground. Could be worth looking into. So what, are all these fucking sages are gonna have, like, some sort of treasure? No. No, I know what the rewards is. I know what the fucking rewards is, and I've already got them. No fucking way. No, I just realized, you- This is how you get this. This is how you get this. It took sages, all of them, and then it all clicked. This is how we get this. Amiibos be god fucking damned, bro. Amiibos be god fucking damned. Ugh, so that's literally... Well, I mean, it's, I guess it's money. It's money, and that's good. But, I don't know. Time for that drink? Yeah, get that drink. Get that tattoo. Get get every get get whatever you want. Live your life to the fullest. I'm not doing that. 
You should. What the foreskin are these? Do you, do you, do you, do you sell them? Okay, I want to know how the fuck do you legally ca carry a shield on your back? There's like no hook anywhere. Physics be damned. Uh, Savag, oh. it's Chief's beloved Sand Seal, Patricia. She's no longer Sand Seal, though. Patricia's actually something of an oracle. Please offer some fruit. In return, she'll share a reading with you. Mm. Though if you give her splash fruit, you'll certainly get a strange number filled reading. You can only assume that the brilliance of those readings is simply beyond our understanding. Can I take these? Oh, fuck yeah. I guess since the Gibdos are, like, low in number now since we've done the thing. Um, I guess, uh, it'll be okay, so... Want a splash fruit? Do you want? Can I give her belly rubs? How the fuck do I give you fruit? Here. Oh, I guess you ate it. No, you haven't eaten it. Can I just hold it for a long period of time? Is that Madison? Oh no, that's that weird fucker. Come on. You can... You can eat it. Please eat the fucking fruit. Are you not going to eat the fruit? The fuck does that mean? Um. Oh. Mm. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, I'll come back when I f when I find a YouTube tutorial or some bullshit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about you. I got, like, 20 wells or something for you. 12 of them this time. 120 bucks. 44 more. Hello? Oh. Hey, look who it is. I recognize that face anywhere. The only face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself with anything to shelter. It's all yours to use as see fit. But you should avoid this area in particular. Sometimes you hear a creepy voice coming from this hole. It sounds like a demon growling or something. Oh, shit. The fucking hole is in. Oh, Jesus. Now I feel like a dumbass for backtracking back in episode 9. Uh. Can you and me? I kind of worry I awaken some demon when I bust up this wall. And my even bigger worries that the demon has out for me now. Robbie, Grante, my beloved family, goodbye forever. You're, it's all good. You what? You went inside the hole? Did you find the demon? Is this goodbye for me? Mm -hmm. Wait, a demon? Statue wasn't there, you say? I know a bit about those. Wanna well, know what I know? Hey. A deal in life and power touched by the wrath of the god has fallen to ruin. That must mean that the horned statue is an entity who deals in life and power, which will make the dyes in the place where it was enshrined back when it was still a god. Mm. 
The voice I heard was a forlorn horn statue. As there is a goddess of light, and it follows you would have an opposite, the horn god. Like like light and dark, one cannot exist without the other. Their power manifests with uh, through the other's existence. Uh. Not can hold in the wall? That was fate, no doubt about it. Can't go in there, but I'll keep this area a spick and span. And I'll be sure to greet the horn statue from here too. Oh, and take it easy. Thanks. <laughs> so I'll be spending allowance for next month, but now it's your spending allowance. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up for me. Alright, I'm getting back to work. Which I literally completed a side adventure for absolutely no reason. <laughs> da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Oh, there's that big fucking Gerudo bitch. Bandig? Bandage? Oh. Because your office is at Gerudo Town is back to normal, so go. And now it's our our turn to help you return to your home to normal too. Stay close and accomplish your goals, you have a support. Oh cool. I guess it's the wrong uh Gerudo bitch. Oh, it's that her now? No, it's not. Sava, sava. Before I agree, I should thank you, so start us all. Oh. Well, this girl of soldiers haven't traveled the Gerudo region before. And now that I've seen this view in person, well, <laughs> once we have to Princess Zelda, I'll have to go convince my friends in town and to travel and experience this. So you better hurry up. Find the princess and bring her back here. We'll keep this place safe until you do. Okay, where is... Okay, that that's you up there, isn't it? Oh. About time you showed up. Oh. Now that Lady Risha is awakened as a sage, Gerudo Town is unlikely to follow the monsters. Thank you very often. I haven't left Lady Risha's side in years, after all. It's hard to not feel sad about it, but as long as Lady Risha is moving forward, so will I. <laughs> we Gerudo will assist in the search for Princess Zelda. For now, we'll fortify the gates and seek out enemy weak points with the monster control crew. Funny thing out, I'll let you know. Hey, Pro, how's it going? Yes. Linky, welcome back. Been hearing a lot about your adventures. Hmm. Serious cold front, a food storage, and a ship floating in the sky in Rito Village. Meanwhile, Gerudo Town was menaced by Gibdos and a sand shroud, along with a massive pyramid showing up. And so, look, Princess Ella was connected to what happened in both places. Hmm. Whatever the case may be, I'm glad that Rito and Gerudo are able to get back to business as usual. Seems like I can trust in those areas to you is the right decision after all. Hmm. It's becoming clear as day there's a connection between Princess Zelda and the upheaval. Things are much more serious than I previously thought. We need to hurry to remain in regions and soon. We also need to investigate the other village. What other village? <gasps> oh yeah, Lurland Village. It's pirates. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. Alright, thank you. Okay, so apparently this is what Pura kind of looked like in Age of Calamity 2. What a pussy. I even go in. Oh fuck yeah, I can. Lots of notes. Jesus Christ. Lots of notes, but I believe this is gonna be it for this episode. Oh, tears the kingdom. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't really figure out how to um get uh the next champion weaponry, which. <gasps> Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, anyway, um. So, um. Uh, God damn it. I don't think it's the end yet. Hello? Uh, give me a minute. Welcome, welcome to Rolling Pastures. Uh, rain me. Oh. Wait, did, did I saw cheese? Uh, there's no cheese. Fucking trouble ah. died. Uh second I go check out get the end of the episode. I oh fucking ah. What? Well look who it is. I sure can't thank you enough for helping our mini stable come together. Ah. Are we talking to myself, did you? Spot's name beloved the horse, you see. Troopy told he's missing. <laughs> Ran away just before the stable was built. Well he's always been a meek horse, so I can't imagine he's run off too far. It's mm. beautiful. It's one ugly as uh, silky gentle beige coat, and you know it was him. Of course, he recognizes his unique gray dappling, too. That's the reason I call him Spot in the first place. Hmm. Or like him. But he was someplace with nice view taken in the sights. I wish he didn't have so much trouble climbing to high places these days. Or hmm. yet, he's caught in this lousy rain. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Now we're into the episode. Um, 
Thanks for tuning in. Um, leave a like, comment, and fucking worship the goddess Katana. If you don't, you're gonna see like Dark Link wheeling this, and it's gonna be the last thing you ever see. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace out, lads.